Okay, we are back, and before we move on to the next region, we are going to secure this one. So that means we're going to be grabbing some memories, we're going to be grabbing some artifacts, we're going to be getting some Ithildin. That is, that is our goal for this segment. So, and then there's a Ithildin door down here that I can restore once I have all the pieces. Also, I want to go ahead and get all of the towers up and running so I can fast travel between them. No problem. Okay. Ruth. Looks like there's two captains over there. Do I want to fight two captains this early? Kind of yes, but also kind of no. Our next goal is to get this tower up and running. need to find that memory. There we go. Okay, so apparently I didn't fix the issues that was causing my game to crash. That sucks. I thought that by changing it from borderless to full screen this would stop happening, but apparently that's not the way it works. Okay, looks like we've got an artifact right over here. So we're going to start there. As a note, I will be playing all of the audio for the uh, the artifacts because the voice actors did a lot of work and they deserve to have their work heard. Someone's raising the alarm. I guess we're not doing this right now. We'll crush you. Oh, 
We do have a worm here that I can deal with, though. Hura the Collector, an epic commander, level 16. Probably want to avoid him for now. A war banner has two roles, to direct and to inspire. In the chaos of battle, he'd say, you won't march wrong if you keep your flag in sight. Now the orcs have cast down our banners, but Gondor's flag still inspires, even if I see it only in my mind's eye. So long as one Gondorian lives, the white tree still stands tall. Banners have always been really important in times of war. No fire. The flag of our people. Long may it fly. Concern yourself more. With the towers it's flying from. <laughs> okay, up next. Let's see, what else? We've got another one over here. We've got an execution happening over here. I think this artifact is our next point. We got we got an arrow. The red arrow is one of Gondor's most treasured symbols, though few know just what it symbolizes. When our need is dire, we can present the arrow to the men of Rohan, and they are bound by ancient pact to ride to our aid. We should have used it in the early days of the siege, but the orcs encircled us so quickly, and Rohan is too far away. Yeah, that makes sense. I wonder whether Rohan would honor this arrow if they saw it. Difficult to say. Men have short memories. And shorter still in a crisis. Not wrong. I'm stuck. Okay, not stuck anymore. <laughs> that was really funny, though. Oh, 
I'm not a maggot. You're the maggot. You're the maggot. But everything else is pointless. A coin. Gondor has faced the Witch King before, and he's had a vendetta against Minisethal ever since. This coin depicts the victor, Aena, last king of Gondor. Generations ago, Aena led an army that routed the Witch King and sent his army fleeing to Angmar. But our victory turned hollow when our king grew prideful. The Witch King challenged Aenar to single combat, and Aenar rode eastward from Minas Tirith, never to be seen again. It takes a nation to defeat such evil, not just one man. Agreed. Eleanor, he who fought the Witch King twice because he did not finish the task the first time. Yeah, and then he died the second time, I assume. I keep zooming out too far in the map. I gotta stop doing that. Okay. Up next. We've got a lot of possibilities. Let's do this supply raid and this lost artifact. We'll do the supply raid first. What was that noise? Oh wait. On the moon. Submit. First off, we get some more information. Koth the Bleeder is terrified of Balefire. Too bad I don't have access to that yet. Do not be size or strength. Hit him. Also, I think I now have enough money. Yes. We're going to unlock a slot here. We're going to put a warrior gem into our weapon to do more damage. And then we will put this wealth gem into the armor for extra XP. Again, anytime you're, you have an item that can give you more XP, that should always be the first thing you go for. Oh, I don't have Shadow Strike yet. Okay. See if I can approach that worm without it... ...knowing that I'm there. Oh, look at that hat! It's adorable! Flack the Bard! is terrified of Karagors and will be killed instantly by one if they see it. Speaking of worms, there's another one over there. But I'm gonna crash the game first. Alright, here we go. Anyone get to these supplies, or you'll wish you were never born. We need those supplies, and we need those orcs dead. I can help. You, 
again! Here to help your fellow pigskins? It won't make a difference. We'll kill the lot of you! He, su he successfully defended his supply ca I guess when I hit the bugs, it made my allies go away as well. That's unfortunate. Still gonna kill him, though. So he's not going to kill me, he's just going to walk away. What a dick. It's fine. We'll deal with him later. Get some health back. Okay, so... We'll deal with him later. For now, we're going to get the lost artifact. Gondorian folk tales abound with drakes, lesser versions of the great dragons who supposedly slumber under the earth. Yet here in Mordor, I've seen them with my own eyes, though from a safe distance, and they are nothing like the storybooks say. They are lethal hunters of the air, rapacious and cruel, apt to torment their prey before eating it. This scale, taken from a drake carcass we found in a ground cave, gives some sense of their size, and how strong they must be to carry such weight aloft. Yeah, Middle-earth drakes are assholes. Scale of a drake or a full-fledged dragon? Certainly a drake. Dragons take better care of their scales. I mean, except for Smaug, who lost exactly one, and that ended up being his undoing. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this memory. Also, we have one more tower over here we have to, to get. Oh, run away. Get a kill and run away. <laughs> Get some health back. Moving on. Ooh, we've got a captain over here. Oh, there's so many enemies. Run away! That captain is apparently an archer and has lots and lots of arrows. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna walk away for a bit. My stream has ended at the moment, but I'm still recording, so I'm just going to chill here for a sec, and we're going to start the stream up again.
Okay, apparently the stream just isn't working at this point. But I'm still recording, so this is still going up on YouTube. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Oh, they're fighting the captain. Alright, let's take him down. Nice, got him. Tremble before the might of Gondor. All right, what do we got? The plains and deserts, the stones of Gorgoroth, the fields of Nan. I left pieces of myself behind. I no longer needed them. Others, I lost. This is how I changed. You cannot become something new without leaving parts of yourself behind. Not sure what memory that was supposed to be, but we found it, and that's the important thing. Like your mother, Ungoliant, Shelob is a dangerous ally. And yet, she is a powerful one. And also, not an ally. Definitely an enemy. Okay, I'm gonna pause really quick, and we're gonna see if I can get the stream back online. Okay, the stream should be back online. Gotta love all these tech problems I've been having. Our next goal is gonna be to grab this tower and then this artifact. Gotta love how I started this stream by saying, Hey, I think I got all these tech problems dealt with, but of course, of course I didn't. Frozen again. Okay, we did get it. Excellent. Let's get the next artifact. In the Great Hall of Minas Ethel, we didn't just safeguard the treasures of our past, we kept our present there as well, an archive of all our official correspondence with the capital. I used to file away missives from Minas Tirith after my father had read them. This was a weekly task at first, but as our surroundings grew more dangerous, scrolls like this one became more rare. I wonder whether there were promises of aid that the orcs intercepted. 
plans for relief that we never saw? Probably. Also, super impressive that paper has survived this long in this place. The workings of government reduced to parchment. Mina Siegel didn't need parchment. It needed reinforcements. Supposed to get new blades soon. Douche. I'm gonna call him douchebag. Nope, out of here. Not interested in any of you. Okay, so. Up next. Oh, I should probably, like, actually look around in this tower because my game crashed before I could. So let's go back to the tower. Okay, so we got a memory and some artifacts. We've got a worm right over here. <laughs> Mozu Deathblade. Terrified of more guy flies. need to unlock a skill. So we're going to go ahead and grab Brutalize, which I believe opens up a new quest for us. We also got some new armor we're going to equip. And again, we are crashing. <laughs> 